you doing? Warning, keep back. Come on, think this through. You need to do something. Shut up, shut up. Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no. I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait. We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Hey guys, and welcome back to Jurassic Park the game. Really interesting situation we're in right now. <laughs> so, we have Oscar, those things, and help. Hmm. I'm not sure this would work. Those things. It's pretty vague. Would he listen? I'm actually curious, so we'll just do this. Oh. Okay. It might be best to hear her speak about Oscar. than uh, Jerry, so... Oscar gave you an order. Clear as day. Get these people to safety. Maybe she's not people in my eyes. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner... Ah, I... shut it. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll do this with him. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still. Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You've got it. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Yoder? More like Exploder. <laughs> that achievement is nice. <laughs> Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay, we'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? All right. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Maybe clear for now, or at least where we are. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Okay. It's like a shovel. Huele excremento. Uh. Okay. Uh, that thing looks weird, but it's not examinable. 
I hate being trapped on here like a rat. I don't necessarily want to talk to anyone right now. Uh... Locked. Locked. There's this, or there was, I don't know if it's still up anymore, but there was this uh, flash game. This flash game. I don't remember what game it was. But I guess you could say it was. I don't know if it would be considered popular. It, to me, it seemed like it was one of the popular ones. It was a really dark flash game. S sort of like compared to. What was it? The. The darkness or something like that I, I really can't remember what those games were called but I know I think it was three games that correlated with each other yeah, but one of the like uh, the first game you're trapped in a hotel rooms bathroom and you have to try to get out and when you and you don't know who you are or something like that. And when you finally open the door, there's a hostage situation or whatever. But yeah, uh, one of... I don't know if it was that one or the, another one. But one thing that always like stuck in my mind is when like you're trying to open something. And the guy would say, locked. It's like the way the guy said it. It just made you want to keep, or at least it made me want to keep clicking on it, because I don't know, <laughs> just because. So it it pops in my mind sometimes when people say locked. I'm like, ha, yes, I am done with my little story. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow, hot. Stupid. Matches? Something flammable. A flare kit. Ah. This might come in handy. Alright. Did we just grab one, though? Uh, let's switch over to someone else. Oh, boy. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Alright. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? No. I am assuming we'll have to find one. Uh, do we... Hmm. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Did he cover? I don't know. Uh, let's try talking to him then. Are you okay? Jess, Han, leave him alone. <laughs> Alrighty. Eggs. Okay. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, 
Anything could go wrong. Great. Uh, the vent. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. I was gonna say, um... What's the harm in being near the grate, but if one of those, uh... Spitting dinosaurs were to come, then... Yeah, it would be a problem. Could I pick this lock? With what? Not that I would know how. I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. Yeah, because then he'd probably assume, oh, you're breaking and entering the places and stuff like that. So, okay. So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. Yeah, not a good idea to have your back turned to it. All right, we'll go to back to Nima. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? <laughs> That's a good idea, hon. <laughs> Do I want to trust her? Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? Uh... I want to see what Jerry has to say first. Well, I guess we can give Yoda a few more minutes. So we still haven't figured it all out yet, and I don't know if we'd actually progress. Uh... Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Uh, These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. You could have had a very bad day if you weren't uh, found by us. Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They uh -huh. had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like ojos del lobo. I'll just pretend I know what you're saying. All right, this is Maybe we should else. get going. Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Oh, right at the last second, he sees that. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. 
Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. What, they're coming back? Or is it oh, no. the Trodon? Yeah. Coming back? They're coming through the vent! Or is it the Trodon? Hey, that's fun. It's a massacre. Like that's gonna work. Shovel it to death, yeah. Do they know how to open the door? They're going past the door. The other vent, I guess. Terry, get that grate open! But it's locked. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something! The air tank! What? Use the air tank! It's heavy and sturdy! Where's my mouse? Jerry! Hurry! I know, I know! I yeah, I know, but my mouse... <laughs> that was lucky. That was just pure luck that my mouse happened to be there. So I can't see it. Doing that thing like last time. Yeah. Come on, what? Jerry. Oh, oh, me. I'm a little busy here. Up there. What about him? Oh, throw me one. Oh. Uh. Heads up. Wow, that's a lot of animal noises right there. My gosh, I suck!
I freaking grab some flares and whatever else. be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. Uh, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them. But we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Okay. This is gonna suck. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. The F is this? What is this hand? Oh. Okay. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Ladder on the right. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Water tanks? It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. T. Alright. Ends in a T. Okay, well. Okay, so we have these two. No. Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. Oh, whoops. I didn't know that's what it, that meant. So, Kadoki. Uh, hopefully that doesn't screw me over. Okay, we can eliminate this one. Okay. Anyway, there's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. Big boxes on the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Two ladders. Tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. Okay. Turn straight and to the right.
It's not this. It's not... Oh boy. Um... Let's... Look back... To ladders... Electrical boxes... Okay, it's either of these two. Actually, this two. So this one, or this one, this one, this one. I think we can eliminate this one. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Uh, so I'm assuming those are electrical boxes. Electrical box, electrical box, electrical box. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Oh, we can cross this one off because I don't think there was a ladder in front of the, those things. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Um. Let me look at Jerry's again. Yes? Where are you? I'm at the workbench. Oh, sorry. It's so dark. Just don't wander off, okay? Wander off into the dinosaur-infested pitch-black tunnels? I think I can resist that temptation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I know which one we're, we're on now. I think it's the one that I initially crossed off. So, I'm gonna cross this off. What do you off. think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. And we'll do it this could one. be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I hope so. Yeah. I'm positive. We must Did be I here. actually do it? It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay. I guess I did. Here awesome. we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. What is it? Are we gonna have to run? Did I miss a thing? I guess I did. I did. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. 
So we're set for Oh god. Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. Why is there an echo? I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? No. Not without dying a few times. <laughs> uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Okay, seriously, what's... Do you know where we are? Let me what's think. With the echo. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Indian people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there, it is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun, and my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima, little fish, little fish do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> with a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. Do you still blame him for everything? No. I have forgiven him. I know to blame Injun now. 
He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name, and a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be, and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think, and my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. She was my second. Second wife. Second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Mm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, he might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Oh, is something coming? Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period. So, why is it running? Like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Oh, jeez. How convenient. All right, we're going to stop it there. I think uh, it's a good place to stop. Got a heart to heart. Learned more about Nima. Too bad that we didn't learn more about Nima and Oscar. I don't think we'll ever know. I don't know. But it's nice to get backstory from Jurassic Park. No, the details of what actually happened before it happened. So yeah. We are at the last chapter, and after that, we are done. Because I don't think there's another game after this, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!